what's going on if y'all do me a favor man head over to twitch and hit that follow button man you know what i'm saying we do daily streams over there so yeah i highly appreciate it yo what's going on man hey we back welcome back you know what i'm saying hey i've been seeing some comments from y'all saying uh yo this kid say you know what i'm saying a lot i do say hey i be catching myself saying you know what i'm saying a lot but hey this that's not what this video is about this video is about me telling y'all the three things that y'all didn't even know about right in the claw y'all didn't even know I, I bet y'all didn't even know some of these things but i'm gonna tell y'all you know what i'm saying so oh there it go hey i need a you know what i'm saying a counter in the comment section hey how many times hey in the comment section tell me how many times i say you know what i'm saying in this video you know what i'm saying sight now let me stop playing but yeah let's go ahead and get into the video all right the first thing that you yeah, i bet y'all didn't even know and i just did it right before your eyes it's pulling out your pickaxe really easy pulling out your pickaxe really easy you know what i'm saying in this bro i really gotta stop saying you know what i'm saying but yeah pulling out your pickaxe really easy is the first thing y'all didn't even know because yeah it's just really easy to pull out your pickaxe when you playing claw um <clears throat> now people use paddles you can you can bind a paddle to your pickaxe but you don't even have to do all that because like if you're playing right-handed claw then you could easily just you know what I'm saying click the um you can click the pickaxe button really easy when you're building that's like when you see people do crazy edits and they they pull out they own um, pickaxe i can't even edit right now i just got on but you know that's 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 one thing i bet y'all didn't even know you just you can pull out your pickaxe really easy it's, it's it's just really easy to do it you know what I'm saying? but yeah that's the first thing that's the first main thing that y'all didn't even know about right hand that claw now we finna get into number two on things you didn't even know about right hand that claw all right here is the second thing about uh right hand claw that y'all probably didn't even know but yeah the second thing about right hand that claw is um it doesn't actually hurt your hand now some people are saying it hurts their fingers you want to know why the reason people say like oh yeah it hurts my hand when i play claw it's so it's either one or two things okay now everybody have different like different types of hands and stuff you know what i'm saying people have small hands people have um big hands medium sized hands which is fine anybody can play claw on any size hand you know so that's not that's not the fact though the fact the matter of fact is you have to you have to really position your hand like in a really good position like people be trying to stretch out their hands hurting their hands like putting in the most uncomfortable like position on the controller like you have to find a way to like position your hand in a really comfortable position i be telling people that all the time but people will come up to me in my twitch streams oh yeah and by the way if you haven't already go in the link go in the link the description and click the link to my uh, twitch i stream every day on there i you know what i'm saying i stream daily so yeah just go ahead drop a follow but yeah like i said when i be streaming on twitch people be saying um people be asking me yeah it, it hurts my hands it's it's only because you're holding the uh controller in a weird way yes you, it's, it's gonna be it's gonna feel weird like probably for like the first week or two but after that, once you get really comfortable to it, then it's not gonna hurt no more. But yeah, that's that's another thing. Now we're finna get into uh, tip number, I mean not tip, I'm sorry. Uh, now we're finna get into the, the third thing that y'all didn't even know about right-handed claw. All right, here is the third thing that people didn't even know about claw. So when you when you switch to right-handed claw, right? Um, mostly, I mean, th this is how most of the people play. Um, people shoot with a middle finger. That's what I do. I shoot with my middle finger. But when you shoot, so here's the thing. Here's the thing. 
when you shoot with your middle finger i don't know what it is but it like it releases pressure on like your right stick like the stick that you move that you look around with it releases pressure i don't know what it what that has to do with anything but it literally like it feels like you're lighter like you, it feels like you have more precise movement i don't I, I don't know what it is but i feel like when you shoot when, well when you start playing right handed claw it's gonna feel really like different and it feels like your right stick is like really, really light. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, it feels really, really light. Like I don't know what it is, but your movement and everything just feels so much like smooth and light. Like you could do you can do things way more precise. You probably won't mess up edits as much, but that's one thing that I have noticed. When you play in claw row right-handed claw your your movement is just way more smoother and everything but yeah that's 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 the third thing about right-handed claw that people didn't even know about and i'm gonna make you know what i'm gonna make more of these videos because there's a lot there's a lot more things that people didn't even know about when you're playing claw right-handed claw it doesn't even matter what type of claw people people don't even know and people be asking questions all the time so i'm gonna try to get out these videos for y'all so y'all stay tuned oh yeah and by the way in the description click the link to my twitch i stream on there daily daily so if you got questions you can come in my twitch chat and hey just ask me drop a follow and yeah we also host a uh, creative so whatever we playing that day whatever if it's zone wars i might host a tournament um box fights whatever it is you know what i'm saying we be having fun man so uh you know what i'm saying stay tuned or just just join the twitch chat i said the twitch chat join the uh t twitch streams you know what i'm saying I, I do stream on there daily but yeah that was the end of the video so i'm glad that everybody stopped by you know what i'm saying give give this video a like and until next time i'm gonna be out peace